Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. This video is going to be very interesting for you guys. Most players get really confused when it comes to creating a support for their team. So, in this video, I will cover each and every aspect of creating a support by explaining all the tags for support and which characters need what kind of support. So without wasting any time, let's begin the video. First of all, every support tag has five levels, and to reach the max level of the support tag, you need to have six characters in your support having the same tag. In total, you can add 10 support characters in your team. So now you have the basic idea. Let's start with the most broken tags. First tag is Navy. You must have six Navy characters in your team to use this tag at max level. This tag gives you the trait. When you are in your captured treasure area, the knockback distance is reduced by 60%. This is a wonderful tag for defenders. Also, this is the best tag for light attacker Odin. You all know Odin have one HP trait in the treasure area, which would make him even more undefeatable. He would fall closely to the treasure area only. But keep in mind it works only inside your captured treasure. Next tag is Revolutionary Army which grants you the tag of reducing knockback distance by 40% when your HP is above 70%. If you use both these tags on Defenders or Odin, then you would be unbeatable. This tag needs Revolutionary Army characters like Sabo or Bello Betty. Now coming to the next tag. The next tag is Runner Tag. This tag is pretty simple to use. Just include the runners in your support. At max level, this tag gives 800 HP increase with increasing treasure gauge by 30% when you capture treasure. This is pretty useful for runners like Dark Roger or Claw. You keep capturing treasure and would help to change outcomes at last moment by increasing the captured treasure gauge by 30%. Next tag is Straw Hat Pirates tag, which requires Straw Hat characters to be used in the support, which reduces critical damage received by 30%, which is quite decent tag. You may ignore that, but can be useful fighting against high critical users. But shouldn't prioritize this trait as there are better traits than this. Next tag is the Grand Line. This tag would activate from the characters which were before the time skip, so pretty limited characters. The trait this tag grants is reduced damage received by 15% from the same element enemies. Pretty good trait though, can be used but it's hard to make a support with it, so can be avoided. Next support tag we have is East Blue, which grants increased damage dealt by 15% to the same element. But this tag too has a very limited characters like old 2 star characters. Yes, the trait is pretty good and can be used if you want. Moving to the next one, we have Paramecia Tag. This tag is also a decent one, giving the ability to increase critical damage by 20% when your HP is below 50%. Well, the critical damage increase doesn't offer much in-game until it's 200 or 300% like we have on Vista and other units. So, you may ignore this one. Next, we have Captain Unit. This trait is activated by Captain Units like Luffy, Shanks, or Kaido, etc. This tag would prevent Stagger from long-range normal attacks by 100% when your HP is 50% or less. This is useful against fighting characters like Zoro, whose normal attacks are pretty damaging. Plus, it gives an extra trait when your HP is below 30%, it would reduce damage received by 20% from long-range normal attacks. This tag is quite useful, and you can consider to use it if you're struggling against long-range normal attack users. Now coming to a more broke tag, which is Seven Warlords of the Sea. This tag reduces the status effect time by 30% when your HP is above 50%. This is a very useful tag when fighting against status effect users. As we all know, status effect users are dominating the meta, and this tag might be very useful for you. Including this tag with Roger or X-Roger Pirates, your status effect would be reduced by 30% below 50% HP, which make you fully reduce status effects by 30%. Now the next tag is New World, which increases damage dealt by 15% on the elements that you are weak against. This is also a decent tag. Moving to the next one. We have Attacker Tag, which increases attack by 200 with a bonus of 5% critical damage increase. This requires attackers to be used in support, doesn't require a special support as there are many attackers in game. Decent tag and can be used. Next, 
we have Defender Tag. This increased overall defense by 200, with increasing treasure gauge recovery amount by 10%. This is also a decent tag can be considered. Next tag is White Beard Pirates. This tag increases status effect time by 30% when your HP is lower than 50%. Quite useful if you're one among the status effects users like Whitebeard himself. It's a good tag and can be used. Moving to the next, we have Worst Generation, which can be used to increase knockback distance by 30% in any treasure area. This tag is useful for knockback users like Gear 5 and S Snake. Do try to include this in your support, would be beneficial. Well, not getting you guys bored, I will not include the useless tags from now on by only giving the suitable tag details. So, next one is Animal Kingdom Pirates, which increases normal attack damage by 15% when your HP is above 70%. Animal Kingdom users are Kaido, King or Queen-like characters. Good tag and can be used. At last, we have Fishman support, which reduces knockback distance by 20% in enemy treasure area. This is also useful for Odin-like characters, which need to stay in the treasure area all the time. Well, this was all for the support tags. Many character have multiple tags, which would help you include more and more support tags in your team. A decent support would have at least 3 to 4 max support tags in their team. Your tag would reach max level only if the character you're using is 6 star. For example, if I have six characters for runner support, but still my tag isn't level five because my one runner is five star. That's how support works. Now, to increase support percentage is a different topic which I would explain in some other video. Well, that's all for today's video, guys. See you in the next one.